Hello, this is Mrs. Mindy, and today I'm going to talk to you about energy types and how to calculate the amount of energy for some of those types. Some of these you may have heard about before uh, in sixth grade, but if not, or if you've forgotten, we're going to go over it a little bit now. Kinetic energy is energy of motion. So anything that is moving has kinetic energy. Anything moving has kinetic energy. It can be this tiny kitten. It can be this motorcycle, which is something you think about as moving more. It can be individual atoms or electrons moving. They all have kinetic energy. Anything that is moving has kinetic energy. Here's the equation for kinetic energy. And there are different types of kinetic energy, but we're just talking about the simple kind that you can see that you can measure that are things that we have talked about before so uh kinetic energy or ke for short its unit is called uh, a joule and it's capital j we'll talk a little bit more about that for now just remember that it's j and it's a joule it sounds just like a joule like a diamond or something it's not spelled the same way but worry about that later um, so kinetic energy equals one half times the mass of the object times the velocity of the object squared. Now this is just the velocity squared, not the mass squared. Okay, it's just like in algebra. This is an application of algebra um, where this squared only goes with the V. Okay, so that's number one mistake. Uh, that people make when making mistakes in calculating this is they'll square like the whole thing or they'll square both of these, but it's just the velocity, okay? Remember mass, just like before, the unit for mass is kilograms. The unit for velocity is meters per second, just like it was before. Kinetic energy increases with velocity, which you would think right? The faster something is going, the more kinetic movement energy it has. So slower things have less kinetic energy. Faster things have more kinetic energy. Kinetic energy also increases with mass. Not quite as much because it's just as mass, not as mass squared like it is for velocity, but small light things have less kinetic energy. And big heavy things have more kinetic energy. Now remember, like this monster truck. So uh, now notice is a combination of those two. So something that is small going super fast can still have a lot of kinetic energy. And something big that's moving slowly can have less. So remember, kinetic energy is energy of motion. Okay, here's the equation again in case you see it so energy in joules mass in kilograms and then velocity meters per second squared so now practice calculating this okay so we'll just run through this this example so if this cheetah has a mass of 50 kilograms and it has currently uh, chasing after this whatever this is on the string uh, its velocity is 30 meters per second Okay, and these are approximately true. I looked this up because I hate when stuff is messed up. Okay, so if here's your equation. Remember, anytime you're using an equation, every time, every time, every time, every time, write down the equation first. I swear it will keep you having good grades your entire school life uh, with math if you do this. Okay? So energy, this is kinetic energy here, energy equals one half times m times v squared. Okay, so let's plug and chug. All right, so one half, here's the one half, same as 0.5, but your calculator likes this better. 50 kilograms, that's the mass of the cheetah, times 30 meters per second, that's how fast it's going, squared. Okay, you got to square this part first. Remember your order of operations, the squared uh, is before almost everything, except parentheses. Okay, so 30 times 30 is 900, 0.5 or half of 50 is 25. So this times this is this, 
30 squared is this. You multiply these together and you get this. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Potential energy. That's the other big one we're going to talk about. Um, now, any kind of potential energy is an energy of position or shape. So you can see this young lady has some energy because uh, she's uh, bungee jumping. She's about to put some energy into this bungee uh, and it's her, her potential energy from being high up uh, over the ground. Energy from gravity, so like pulling something out away against gravity is gravitational potential energy because that just like riding if you've ever ridden in one of these pirate ship thingies uh, at some uh, amusement park as you go up you get more gravitational potential energy it's kind of stored in your position because there's a lot of energy that will happen as the earth and you pull each other closer together you're actually pulling on the earth too. You're moving the earth a teeny weensy bit. Uh, you just have so much smaller mass. You notice it more for you. Anything up high has gravitational potential energy. Anything at all has gravitational potential energy if it's lifted up. Anything falling has gravitational potential energy. It's, it's busy converting that gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy of, of speed for falling. Anything high up has gravitational potential energy, even if it's not falling, like these, uh, these circus people, balancing, balancing, balancing. Okay, there's also an equation for gravitational potential energy. There are all kinds of energy we're going to talk about a couple of them, but I'm only going to make you calculate two kinds. Okay. Uh, kinetic energy, which I showed you before, and gravitational potential energy, sometimes just called potential energy. So here's the energy. It's still in joules, this J, and uh, except now it's mass times G, so mass in kilograms. G, which you might remember is the acceleration due to the gravitational field of the Earth, and that's 9.8 meters per second squared, times height, how high you up, how high up away from the Earth you are, uh, and that's in meters, just like any length or height. Okay, so mass, MGH, mass times G times height. That's gravitational potential energy. Now, if a problem ever says just potential energy, it almost always means gravitational potential energy. So beware. Just know that that's what it is. Uh, but there are other potential energies, too. A major thing about energy and why we care about it at all is because it is never created and it is never destroyed. Okay, to be fair, it was created like once once at the beginning of the universe okay but all the rest since then since the tiniest fraction of time after the creation of the universe the energy is never created or never destroyed okay it's always there it just moves around it changes form we'll talk about that more later um because potential energy this gravitational potential energy or other kinds of potential energies uh, plus kinetic energy, these kinds of energy together are known as mechanical energy because we can do stuff with it. We can move things with it. We can run machines with it. It's, it's useful energy for us. Okay, so potential energy plus kinetic energy in a system is mechanical energy. That's the stuff you can use. There are other kinds of energy, and we're not going to talk about them so much except for right now. Okay, and it's just for you to know what they are. There's elastic potential energy. So that's if you stretch or bend or otherwise deform something and it springs back. It can spring so that it becomes shorter, like this. He's pulling it out long, he's pulling this uh, slingshot. 
thingy, I don't know what you call this part of a slingshot, the elastic part of the slingshot, it's pulling it out long, it's going to snap back to being shorter. So there's energy stored in this rubber bandy thing. Um, if you've ever bounced on one of these bouncy balls that have a handle on them, a hippity hop or something, when the kid, or any kind of ball, if when it bounces, it deforms, it squishes kind of flattish, but then it springs back to more of its ball shape and the kid has a nice ride. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. The same thing if you've ever ridden on one of these things, it's like a horse and there's little springs in here suspending it from this. It's kind of an old fashioned toy, but they have things kind of like this at the park too, except there's a big spring under it like that. And so when you bend the spring or stretch the string, it snaps, or the spring, not the string, it snaps back. And so that's how you have that potential energy. A bouncing ball has gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy and kinetic energy. Okay. So lots of things they can have. This energy is changing back and forth all the time, all the time. Okay. So as it, as it's up here, it has a lot of gravitational potential energy because it's high up. When it comes down here, it gets faster, faster, faster. So its kinetic energy increases. And when it hits the ground, it squishes the ball down and then it has some elastic potential energy. And then it pops back out. So then it converts that elastic potential energy back to kinetic energy and it just keeps doing it, keeps transforming the energy back and back and back. Nuclear energy is potential energy that is stored in the atom's nucleus. We will talk about that more later on. For now, just know that um, because of how the nucleus is, if you change it, if you break apart the nucleus or if you smush more particles into the nucleus, you get a change in energy. So it's stored within the atom. Thermal energy is heat energy, and weird thing, this is actually a kinetic energy. So heat is a kinetic energy because it makes the molecules move faster, and faster is kinetic. So speed energy, that's kinetic energy. So thermal energy, heat is actually a speed. Temperature is a measure of speed. Crazy, but true. Sound energy, uh, so vibrations of molecules back and forth. So that's a kinetic, a kind of kinetic energy too, but, you know, we process it differently. So uh, we have a different name for it. Electricity is a kind of energy that's a movement of charged particles. This is a Tesla coil. It's a really big one too. Electrical energy can be um, static electricity discharging, like this lightning. Uh, it can be current, like in your electronics, where it's going round and round. We will talk more about this when we talk about electricity. Electromagnetic energy is different than electric, en electric energy. This electromagnet, magnetic energy, it is light. It's light. Light is electromagnetic energy. So all these things that you may have heard of before, let me go back here for a second, microwaves, x-rays, radio waves, television waves, that's broadcast television, infrared, ultraviolet, x-rays, gamma rays, it's all light. It's all light. It's all exactly the same stuff. It's just the wavelength is different. Okay, so all of those things are basically colors of light that we cannot see uh, without machines that we made. Chemical energy is energy from making or breaking bonds between atoms. Because you can get a release of uh, energy from doing this, like from making water from hydrogen and oxygen, you get actually a big uh, release of energy. So in a way, this is stored energy because when it goes to this, it releases a whole bunch. Chemical energy can also be things that you may not think of as chemicals. So like food, food is absolutely chemicals and it is stored chemical energy 
That is why we eat it. We're getting the energy out of it. The same way that when a car burns uh, gasoline, it's getting the chemical energy out of the gasoline. And um, energy in batteries is also chemical energy. There's little chemical reactions that are happening and it releases the electricity. Uh, so some potential energy types in general, I said this kind of before, but it's kind of neat to think about. So there's gravitational potential energy. That's the big one. That's the one we're going to talk about the most. But there's also elastic potential energy <clears throat> and chemical potential energy. These are, you know, kind of common everyday things. Well, okay, dynamite's not very common every day. But like this, like stuff exploding or burning, that's chemical potential energy. There's also chemical potential energy in this cake. Okay, that's enough for now, and I will see you next time.